Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I am a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and I have uh, our guest today, uh, Dr. Louis Shoha, and we're going to talk about lasers. Of course, I've been using lasers eternally, it seems like. I was actually the first periodontist in the United States to have a laser, and we've had many different kinds, and we find them enormously helpful. But lasers are becoming more popular and more useful, not only in periodontics, but in endodontics or root canal treatment. And I want to hear uh, Dr. Shoha talk about what's going on with lasers for the treatment of root canal. I'm sure they're making a big impact on how root canals are done and the success. So what's the story? All right. Thanks, Joe. Uh, yes, lasers have been around for a little while, but they really are fine-tuned now for endodontics, root canals. I've been using them in the field for 15 years but uh, the research didn't always catch up with what's going on and now it's started, it's proven that they're effective and they've got some new lasers out that make it affordable for any endodontist to really have this uh, technology. So now our whole group is using them, eight doctors, and we're loving it. It's uh, really helping on the cleaning of these cases in areas that we can't clean with normal instruments and files and uh, we're seeing some great results and you know, loving to share this with people and, and get people in to see our new technology. So thanks for uh, having me today what to does talk the, about this. What does the laser do, actually? Uh, you said cleaning out, right. but you know, there are bacteria in there and you've got to get rid of these bacteria. Good question. So there's a direct effect that uh, lasers have to kill bacteria. That's why it's so good in periodontics as well but it also activates solutions that we put in the tooth, even water, but some other solutions that activates them and, and causes this high energy bubbles, we call cavitation, and that cavitation produces this flushing action. It also goes into areas, tubules and different areas in the tooth because these cavitations are so small, these bubbles are so small, they can get into areas that other uh, modalities cannot get into. And, and it flushes the action up to areas at the tip of the roots, these very, 0.1 uh, millimeter areas and, and cleans them really well. It's been shown scientifically to do this. This is interesting. See, I know lasers kill bacteria, but I didn't realize that you use it to interact with a, a liquid of some right. kind, right. which causes, I guess, what you call cavitation. Mm -hmm. And the cavitation creates bubbles. Uh, it's, isn't cavitation kind of waves or vibrations in the in the liquid right also. right it, it's essentially everything comes down to waves and vibration so you're right and then it, it, it flushes it because of that action uh, it, it causes streaming of this uh, fluids and it will come out of the tooth a tooth has a tiny canal or several tiny canals and sometimes these canals can be very difficult to clean out and if you don't clean them out completely, bacteria can remain and cause a reinfection at a later date. So it's incredibly critical to make sure that it's sterile. And apparently the laser is one of the things now that enables you to make, you know, even more certain of the cleanliness and the stability exactly. of the canal. In the canal, there's some things called accessory canals, mm -hmm. which are little canals that go off the side that sometimes can yep. be almost impossible right. to see uh, and cleanse. It seems to me that with the laser and the cavitation, some of that material, uh, that liquid and the laser, mm -hmm. can help to clean out these accessory right, canals absolutely. as well. Yes, there's, there's areas in the tooth that in the past we would have had, they would have been impossible to clean properly. And now I'm finding that uh, even if it bent at a right angle where I cannot get an instrument, I can still get my laser energy to go into these spaces. It's really yeah, amazing. So, so uh, Dr. Shohar can, and his group can treat teeth that couldn't be treated effectively before. Maybe they were treated, but right, they right. couldn't be treated as effectively as yeah. they are now and that makes it makes a huge difference the ways we were doing it are they're they're very good they're excellent they're still you know probably above the old techniques uh, but they were 
uh, cumbersome, they took more time, and um, even in the end, this is still more efficient. And there are some other technologies out that are nearly the same that produce a great cleaning quality, but the one advantage of the laser that I see, there's direct killing effect of the laser beam itself on the bacteria. Some of the other modalities that do flushing and they use vacuum flushing and different things, they don't directly kill bacteria like the laser can. So, you know, but most technologies, it's really in the hand of the user as to how good it's going to function, how well. But the laser is already leaps and bounds in my mind, in my hands, far ahead. Now, there are many different kinds <coughs> of lasers. You know, I have, we have five different kinds yeah. here. Mm -hmm. What kind do you find most effective? Yeah, there's, it, there's a certain spectrum it has to have to activate the solutions, the water. So erbium, chromium, uh, it's a, a particular wavelength that it activates and um, this laser does not penetrate deep into tissues so it's very safe you can use it for other things in tissues but you use different settings but the settings that we use for root canal is very safe it does not go past uh, a few millimeters of what you want to use it for now i remember in the old days because i do remember the old days i created the old days <laughs> anyway in the old days they used to have several appointments mm -hmm. to have a root canal right is that still the situation, or are you able to do it it's in one visit or two visits? Yeah, or yeah generally great what? It's very rare to have more than one visit in our office. Not that it never happens, but yeah. because the other thing the laser does is it, it, because of the type of pressure that it uses in the tooth, even when there's a, 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 an abscess at the end of the root, an infection, and it wants to drain, we can almost always get that drainage to come out. The laser activates that and then it comes out and we can get complete drainage. It sort so of opens that up it, for it, drainage. It does and it's really amazing just that new technology and that one aspect how it's changed uh, how we treat those cases. After the laser is done, mm -hmm. um, usually you put a filling in there. Filling material that goes into the root itself, into the canal, is called a bioceramic that we use. This is a modern That's generation. It's a newer material, isn't it? It's a newer, 10 I years. I keep thinking of silver points yeah, right. and gutta percha. Right, right. <laughs> well, the gutta percha is still often used. Uh, the material itself, it's called bioactive. So it, when it encounters uh, living tissue, say at the end of the root where the tooth meets outside the tooth, those cells from the, our body like this material. They don't just tolerate it, they like it. They'll grow up right against it by the way, you know, people have an idea. You watch a movie, oh, I'm gonna need a root canal. The whole, you know, there's a myth about root canal work being painful. Well, my experience, and I've had a couple myself, it's not painful at all. The tooth is numbed right, completely. Right, right. You don't feel anything. There's no discomfort, maybe sore, sometimes for a couple of days afterward. But the, the myth about root canal being a painful thing and usually that's considered like the most painful thing in dentistry yeah. is a myth only it's, a myth. it's not painful when a tooth has a root canal sometimes afterward there's a little bit of brittleness and you want to put a crown on that tooth to make sure that you know that doesn't chip or break in the future right mm -hmm. now the name of your group is professional endodontics Correct. and where are you guys located yeah, so we're in southfield at uh, 12 and telegraph clarkston st Clair shores and clinton township we've got eight doctors and uh, they're all very experienced and all high level uh, treatment providers so um, confident that uh, they can handle any case I think this was was very interesting, very yeah. enlightening. Yeah. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, we'd love to hear from sure. you. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, and as I know that Dr. Shoha feels the same way I do, if your mouth isn't healthy, your body can't be as healthy Absolutely. as it should be. Absolutely. Take care and have a good day, people. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.